Hello everyone, this is Shreyas and Art today. I am talking about someone who is extremely humble, down to earth and I am talking about Mr. Sandeep Soparkar. So sir, you can see the excitement I have today to have you here. So how are you doing today? Absolutely fine. Whenever you are here, it always feels wonderful, Shreyas. Thank you so much, sir. It's, it's great. I mean, you know, as I said, I'm, I'm super excited. And before we move ahead, as we spoke about your kindness, we spoke about, I mean, I just, you know, uh, hardly had one or two words about India Dance Week. Of course, we'll have a detailed conversation about it. However, means, you know, I would like to ask you one question and maybe we can start from there. Is Mumbai Maya Nagri, mein, you know, we have a lot of people who come every day to become a dancer, choreographer. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, probably I would say unfortunately, you know, people at times are school dropouts, college dropouts because, you know, they come all the way to achieve their big dream to become an artist or a performer. What's your take as an artist uh, on the importance of education? I think that in any city, it's not a bad thing. If you have your aspirations, you have to reach there, you have a goal, a goal, a goal, you have to go further. You have to come. But I think apni padhai chhod kar ke, apni gharwalon ko chhod kar ke, us ladai jhagda kar kar ke, aana is not something advisable because ye jo industry hai, it's very very emotional driven. Aapke emotions jo hote hain, wo bahut sahi jagah pe hone chahiye. Agar nahi ho saath mein, to aapko aage badhne mushkil hoti hai. Aur apart from that, mera ye manna hai ki aapko success tabhi mil sakta hai jab aapke bade boorong ka aashirwad aapke saath. Ab wo na ho, to aap kuch bhi karenge zindagi mein, aap aage nahi badh payenge aur khush nahi reh payenge. So, उनके उनको साथ में जोड़ करके उनको साथ में रख करके अगर आप आगे आते हैं कहीं किसी भी शहर में आते हैं नो प्रॉब्लम और जो पढ़ाई होती है दैट इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट वो आपको जिंदगी के बारे में सिखाती है आपको आगे कैसे लोगों से डील करना है वो सिखाती है इट्स नॉट जस्ट लर्निंग मैथमेटिक्स और लर्निंग साइंस इट्स अबाउट लर्निंग लाइफ and making new friends with people and to understand all that education teaches you a lot more than just on that note sir you just spoke about emotions you know uh, do you think emotions play a huge role when you're curating something as an artist i think we all artists are emotional people uh hamari zindagi mein jo bhi hum hamare sath hote hain haath se hote hain ya khushiyan hoti hain uske sath mein hamare jo performance hote hain wo bhi jude hote hain so uh, it is very important to experience life through our emotions and uske sath mein jo bhi aap kar sakte hain creatively उसको बाहर लाइए या कुछ आप देख करके आपको इमोशनली कनेक्ट होता है तो आप बाहर लाइए या कुछ एक्सपीरियंस होता है और उसको बाहर लाइए एंड इफ यू हैव एक्सपीरियंस इट आई थिंक उसमें जो रस होता है आपकी परफॉर्मेंस में और बढ़ जाता है सो इंस्टेड ऑफ कॉपिंग समथिंग फ्रॉम सम यूट्यूब पर देख लिया और अपना कुछ कर लिया जो आजकल बहुत फेमस हो गया है बहुत पॉपुलर भी हो गया है उससे आई वुड प्रिफर कि आप उसको एक्सपीरियंस करिए लाइफ और उसके बाद में डालिए आगे ऑटोमेटिकली द परफॉर्मेंस विल बी अनदर आई थिंक यू जस्ट ब्रिलियंटली सेड दैट हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज टू बी ओरिजिनल यू नो नॉट नॉट कॉपिंग समथिंग आई थिंक दैट्स दैट्स ब्यूटीफुल कमिंग बैक ऑन द एजुकेशन पार्ट इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग आई आई एम अवेयर दैट यू हैव डन योर एजुकेशन इन होटल मैनेजमेंट एंड सो इवन आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग होटल मैनेजमेंट व्हाट मेड यू फील कि नहीं मुझे डांस में करियर इट्स नॉट जस्ट होटल मैनेजमेंट आई डिड माय होटल मैनेजमेंट आई डिड माय एमबीए आई डिड माय पीएचडी आई थिंक Education, whatever I learned, taught me a lot in my dancing field as well. So, hotel management taught me hospitality, biggest part of hotel management. So, dealing with people of different age groups, different size, shape, profession, whatever. Be it in a hotel or in a dance class, it's the same thing. In my dance class today, I get different types of people, different age, different experience, different backgrounds, different culture, and that's what happens in hotels as well. So how to deal with them and to make them feel happy in where, where they are, I think that hotel management taught me. My MBA taught me how to market my school, how to market myself. I was in PR, so how to do PR for my, 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 my work in dancing. A lot of things has, has come today because of my education. My PhD in world mythology taught me how to create different shows based, in, uh, based on mythology. So I think it's, it's very important that you whatever you study, you use it in the right manner for your profession. Nothing in this life goes waste if you study it properly. Chhodna is the last thing you should do in life. Take it ahead, build on it. Maybe you might not get hundred percent out of it, but you will definitely learn something. Sir, you just said that you know chhodna is the last thing in life. Have you ever felt that abhi nahi ho raha? You know, maybe I want to quit. Abhi, you know, I'm done. You know, every, did you ever get that feeling when it comes to dance? And well, it hasn't happened to me as yet. <laughs> I'm still 25. It's happened to me as yet, but I think. It does feel that sometimes you feel that oh I need to put extra effort, 
because what I could do when I was much younger, I probably can't do it now. So I need to put extra effort for it. Earlier I could rehearse two hours and I would be fine. Today I have to put double the effort for it. So that is one part which uh, sometimes you do feel, oh, earlier I would give this much time for it, but now I have to give this much time for it. So you need to balance your life in a different way because you have to put more time into your rehearsals than what so, we were doing. You before. know, uh, as you spoke about rehearsals, I know these days, uh, and I'm, I'm, I don't mind me saying this, but there are a lot of people who say that, okay, I want to learn dance maybe, you know, for two weeks, three weeks, and then I want to put in reels, and I want to be a content creator. <laughs> Would you mind, you know, to share some of your thoughts on this particular aspect of... I think people watching your show will just hate me for it. But uh, I think dance, jo hai, kala, jo hai, wo aap seekhte hai apne liye. Not to make real, not to make content, because to me my art is not content. To me my art is my art, and it enhances me, enriches me. And मुझे जो फायदा होता है मेरे आर्ट से वो मैं रील में या कंटेंट में दिखाने से that doesn't make a difference in anybody's life in that way. So आप सीखिए, अपने लिए सीखिए, अपने आप को इम्प्रूव करने के लिए सीखिए, अपनी पर्सनालिटी को इम्प्रूव करने के लिए सीखिए, और उसके बाद आपको रील बनानी है तो you can make it. But the aim of yours, the goal of yours should not be a reel. जब आप आप कुछ कुछ भी कला सीखने जाते हैं आप उसे सीखिए अपने लिए एंड नॉट विद मकसद कि मुझे उसकी पंद्रह सेकंड की रील बनानी है बिकॉज देन आपका ज्ञान जो है वो पंद्रह सेकंड का ही एब्सोल्युटली आई थिंक यू नो यू जस्ट वेल सेड ऑन दैट नोट व्हेन डिड यू थिंक के मतलब वो कौन सा ऐसा मौका था जब वो कैसा लगा कि नो आई वॉन्ट टू मेक माई करियर इन डांस और यू नो एंटरटेनमेंट और दिस पर्टिकुलर फील ऑलवेज वॉन्टेड टू मेक करियर आउट ऑफ डांसिंग But I was not too sure if I could do it or not, and I come from a very middle-class family. My father was in the army, so we were not, you know, so rich that he could fund things for me. So it was difficult to take the decision. कि मैं कब उसको करूँ और कैसे करूँ. I think I would like to thank my ex-boss uh, Sheetal Pinto. Now she lives in Canada, and uh, she was one who told me that I think you are meant to do something else, and go ahead. Try your luck in what you want to do, what your passion is, what your heart follows. Follow that thing. Follow your dream. And if you are not successful, this job is always open for you. So that kind of gave me a confidence that okay, let me try. Nahi hota hai, to shayad mere paas main yahan apas ja sakta hu. And uh, till today she tells me <laughs> the job is still open for you. <laughs> I don't want to come back right now. But I think that that's confidence that she gave me. Ki jao aur tumhare saath hum log khade. Not just my parents, but even her. And I think when you get uh, support from friends and your family, you the who the jazba hota hai, or bade jata hai. And then there's no looking back for a person who has great support. So, so it's very important to have that firm grip of you know everyone around you who's supporting you. And on that note, sir, means you know why Latin American and you know ballroom? Why not any other dance? Well, when my father was uh, in Germany and when I was young that time, and I would love to have learned in classical dance to be honest. But uh, my mother is a Bharatanatyam dancer, and she said that but there was nothing available that time. So she said, "Only that's available is ballet. Go and learn ballet." So I so I went for ballet class. I was the only boy in the middle of all the girls, and I felt a little strange for a few years. And after learning ballet for about six, eight years, I thought uh, better was to move into Latin American dancing because uh, there were wonderful uh, moves there. And ballet got me a little boring. I felt it was not for me because more for it's more of a woman dance, and I thought Latin American is more of a man dance. So I um, joined my Latin American dance classes when I was twelve. And I've been dancing since then. You are a brand in yourself. Means you know, being a, being a dancer, choreographer, philanthropist. You've done so many things. You've been in RJ. You've been a judge for you know the re reality shows. You've done so so much of work you know in this field. But how did this journey start? I mean, you know, when you came back. It all began with my first film, Zubeda. So I was at this nightclub dancing away, and somebody comes and taps my shoulder and says, "Oh, are you a ballroom dancer?" <laughs> Looks like that. Says, "Yeah, I am." So we are making this film called Zubeda, and we would want you to uh, come and help us. So I was like, "Okay." I was on a holiday here to Bombay, and I was like, "Okay, let me just help them." And I walked into this office, and I see Shyam Benegal, I meet Manoj Bajpai, Karishma Kapoor, Rekha Ji, and I was like, "Okay." And then, what is this happening? Hundred <laughs> hours nightclub last night. <laughs> so it kind of just changed my life, and. Uh, Uh, Sham sir was absolutely wonderful. I knew nothing about choreography. I knew nothing about uh, camera angles, lenses, nothing. And he taught me everything. He even gifted me with my uh, lifetime membership for Choreographer Association. 
and and then he paid me for it as well so i was like i thought i was going to help you <laughs> but i just realized that um, you know the industry was wonderful to him uh, though later i realized it wasn't so wonderful all the time but i think the team i worked with uh, mr benegar and his entire team was absolutely fantastic and manoj manoj bajpai also taught me a lot karishma and karpu taught me a lot when i was choreographing because they were the masters in what they were doing and uh, the film became a big hit the dance was appreciated and then he asked me to do a couple of more dances for him in the same film i think it just um, things just took off in a different way and bollywood you know what happens once you get a little recognition in a certain way it kind of goes in that same same stream so all the love dances honge to call so parker for it so i was doing all kind of romantic choreographies and i think it worked quite well and then my dance classes also were going on anyway so things were just going i mean you know you've done so much of work in india and you know uh, i would i would really want you to talk about all the work that you've done internationally as well uh, without me speaking anything i i know whom all you've choreographed and you know how how amazing it is can you please uh, share so my first experience happened when i choreographed uh, this film called the myth of jackie chan and it was it got this opening at the cancel festival and uh, we shot for it in hampi a, a, a certain portion a certain portion of shanghai so uh, that was my first international project and working with jackie chan was ah uh, dream come true because there was not much to teach him because he's so fantastic you just show him anything and he just do it for you so it's, it's like that simple and uh, malika shrawat was in it as well so it was it was wonderful working with him for the first time and then i taught shakira to dance uh, which was uh, a superb learning experience for me i remember going for a class at 6 in the morning and uh, i reached about 10 minutes before time and she was ready with her warm up and i just thought to myself a lady of that stature doesn't have to be ready at 10 minutes to 6 for a dance teacher to come to her she could have just you know, said okay good morning fine let me get ready for you and let me do my warm up for you now you know like which normally would happen otherwise and that's why she is where she is otherwise why would someone get that kind of success you know then i took some classes from madonna i choreographed for britney spears a music video womanizer but for the first time she was lying naked in the bathtub <laughs> and it became a big news about it so i think it's just interesting to work on international projects because they teach you a lot of things i was working on this film called uh, nine with rob marshall and uh, i remember we went for to clear our payments my piece was 22 second piece in the whole film 22 seconds we rehearsed for 10 days for it and when i finished my shoot and i went uh, to pick up my money they said uh, oh today this was daily payments right so he said oh today you worked for 8 hours 52 minutes so i was like so am i getting paid for 52 minutes and yes you are so i was like wow i wish this happens in bollywood because <laughs> it never happens in bollywood like this so there are so many things when you work on international projects you realize that there's so much more we need to learn ourselves or we can learn from them as people and make ourselves better because it's not easy to stay on top and not easy to hold a position on top if you're not consistent with what you're doing thank you so much for all the insights and we're just going to move on to the next quick segment okay just to let so so let's see you know how it goes it's a rapid fire round uh sandeep as a person is happy go lucky i love my dance form i hate <laughs> nothing at all actually how <laughs> how how beautiful dance means the world to me uh last but not the least film choreographies or stage performance stage performance really you you was you was super i mean it was so impressed i'm scared you kya puchhega mujhse ye but thank you for the easy questions but thank you so much sir for your time